suddenly I'm even more trapped. Not long after that, the doors at the top of the silo slid open. So I looked up, and by squinting really hard, I could see an old woman with long hair, wearing a long ratty dress, just standing there, looking down at me. I called to her, told her who I was and what had happened. I told her everything, called to her till I went hoarse again, but she just stood there. I even tossed my ring up to her, saying, go ahead, keep it, just get me the heck out of here. Nothing. For a while, Kit was convinced you disappeared because you had decided you didn't want to marry Kyler after all. I'm not surprised. The fact is, soon after we got here, he tried to tell me I was about to make a colossal mistake and that I should call off the wedding. Such wishful thinking on his part is exactly why I didn't ask him to be my best man. Oh, I made up some excuse about office politics and occupational expediency, but Kit was, and is, and hopefully always will be, my best friend. But having him be my best man, knowing he's still smitten with Kyla, I figured I'd pass. Kyler's trying her best not to show it, but she's really worried about you. That's the worst of it, knowing that my eagerness to play a silly prank on her is going to wind up ruining the wedding. She's going to be so disappointed and humiliated and appalled. She'll never forgive me. What an idiot I am. I love her so much, and I am so lucky a mongrel like me landing someone as smart and beautiful as her, and now, whether I ever get out of here or not, I'm going to lose her. What an un thinking, short-sighted, immature idiot. Mr. Delaney, the caretaker? He thinks you were spirited away by fairies. <laughs> you know, I actually miss that superstitious, super ridiculous old fossil. Kit and I spent the better part of an evening rigging line in the garden so we could fool him into thinking a leprechaun was moving through the bushes. Only a branch snapped off and whacked Kit in the eye, and that was that. Except, I must admit, Seeing as I have no idea who or what that thing is that has us trapped down here, Mr. Delaney might not be all that wrong. I'm pretty sure her name's Fiona. She's the daughter of Brenda Malloy, the guy who was doing all the research down here. Everyone thought she was killed along with her parents when this place exploded. But she wasn't, and she's been wandering around in the bog near the castle ever since. So, if our wedding ever does take place, it looks like I'll end up with a crazy in law after all. I'll be in here checking everything out, okay? You do that.
Did you know there was a button here that says, in case of lockdown, press to open? What? You mean something that could open up a way to escape was right under my nose the whole time? That does it. If I get out of here, I'm having that eye surgery. My weak stomach will just have to get over it. Thank <laughs> you.